Out of curiosity, I did take another look at the Word doc that has all the quests, that tells you how to start the quest, so on and so forth, and it turns out that every single quest in the mod you get from a note. None of them come from speaking to people, none of them come from any NPCs, it's all notes. Yes? I wasn't expecting that. What do you need? I gotta say, that one kinda threw me for a little bit of a loop. That being said, I think there is a quest I can get here. So, keep your eyes out for, uh, reading material. Oh, someone, uh, fancies himself as an enchanter. Ooh, potion of well-being. I'm not stealing from him, don't worry. No, nothing in here. Need something. I guess my concern at that point is... I mean, I guess you kind of have to add settlements, villages, towns, because it's an entire world space, <laughs> but... They almost just kind of feel like, um... This better be good. Maybe not placeholders, but they almost feel like they're just kind of here for decoration if I really can't... This better be good. ...talk to anyone outside of like, oh, just general goods, blacksmiths. All right, then. But... I, and granted, there might be notes and stuff where I can learn about the lore, but right now I don't see too many ways to learn about the landscape. Like, where is Valmenheim? What is this place known for? Stuff like that. I feel like we just kind of lose out on a lot of um, storytelling. Also, that's a vanilla book, so I don't know why I even bothered reading it. Oh... Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe not anything here, but there's still one other house. The main quest line itself is only five quests long, but there seem to be several quests that, um, are unlocked as you complete the main quest. Like, different side quests that are kind of, not time-gated, but are dependent on you making progress in the main quest line. So I think that sounds, uh, pretty exciting. Okay. Well, that's a new book. There we go. Lost Weapon of the Ankara. A quest like that, that makes sense to start from, from a book, from a note. And it makes sense to start certain quests just from reading this book, reading this note, but... Especially for the main quest line, I, I wish we had, you know, characters to interact with. Like, for instance, like, okay, who's Giraffe? I don't see him here, and I can't really talk to him anyways, so... It just kind of feels like a wasted potential for some of these locations. In terms of the locations, or in terms of the environment, I like it because it feels like a little bit of a mix between... Like, Dawnstar and Morthal combined with uh, Solstheim, which... Honestly, for me, that's a really, really good combination. For me, that works very, very well. Oh god, hey. Please stop, stop. I'm just here to see if you have any notes. Give me your notes! Damn you! Give me your literature. It's the only way that I can survive as an adventurer. I have a need. A need to read. Please do. Honestly, please. If my life is this miserable, go ahead and end it for me. I see a book. <laughs> She's gonna be the joke for this playthrough. Now it's like, oh, you see a book? Ooh. Now we get excited. Now uh, things are getting good. Oh, okay. So if I hadn't already found the book of Captain Valandir of the White Arbiter, could have found it right there. Ooh. Is that going to be something I need later on? Wait. Where? I don't think I've discovered that yet. I'm pretty sure I haven't. No, I don't think so. All right. Also, I can remove that custom marker now. So get that out of here. Well, found a key. Found a key, it's for me. Is this gonna be... Damn it, no. That's not... 
<laughs> what I got the key for. Eh, we'll find it sooner or later. For all I know, it might be part of the main quest line, even. I will also, at some points, kind of like take a bit of a pause from the main quest line to do some side quests. I don't know if I'll do every side quest, to be completely honest. I definitely want to do some, because Hammett is best known for his dungeons. And right now, I've really not seen any dungeons. Right now, well... Right now, the quest that I've taken, the quest that I've gone on, on, haven't taken me to any dungeons that kind of, like, show his skill, show his ability. We just went to a couple words like, hey, here's one room, here's a door you can't open, here's one room, here's a lever you can't use. So, right now, I haven't gotten a good look at any dungeons. Although, I'm sure that'll change. Because I'm discovering plenty across the island, which, uh, that's... Real, real nice. Should've known she wouldn't wait for me. Bad time to bandits? Go yeah, yeah, we got bandits. I'm gonna bleed you. Oh yeah? I'm gonna read you. Notes. Oh god. They don't want me to steal their books. They really, really, really want to keep them for themselves. Listen, knowledge is power, and they know it. They don't want me to take their knowledge. They don't want me to take their power. Mandar, you have a name! You might be important! So I'm especially gonna kill you. Oh, here we go. He's got literature. Tomorrow we'll start our journey inside that Dwemer ruin. I just didn't wait for Varen to get here with the supplies we needed and to prepare the ship before we head in. That Dwemer ruin is quite dangerous. It's best prepared before we go in. Oh, best to prepare. I've been told that this Dwemer ruin holds a powerful relic, a shield. This is the reason why I came here. It'll be perfect for my weapon collection when I get back to Cyrodiil. While the rest of the treasure we find here, we can smuggle them to Kraglorn. I like the, uh, the shout-out to Kraglorn. If anything, I... I really hope someday we get a mod that shows off Kraglorn. I'm hoping that someday someone makes a mod. You know, showing off the, uh, little bit of a lesser-known region, but... I like Kraglorn. It's a great area in, um, in ESO. Right now, it's kind of the only, quote-unquote, like, harder... overworld PvE content, I guess would be the best way to put it. It's the closest thing we have to a more endgame... Um, like, zone. Also, we've really got to walk a long way to get to this next quest. It's why I wish I could have just taken the boat, like the one that I found before. Don't know why I couldn't. Hello? I hear beasts. Oh, okay. First! Down you go. Have a nice swim. See, this one doesn't even want to fight me. Oh. Oh, okay. I pissed off all the horkers over there. They're not happy. Ugh, God. You know how people complain about a uh, wet dog? Imagine the smell of wet troll. With any luck, we never get smell-o-vision in games, because, uh, ugh. That would be one feature that I would turn off immediately. Helmfrost Bay. I have a feeling it's going to be there and not... Yeah. Alright, let's keep walking, I guess. That deer just uh, is jumping for joy, isn't he? Did he die on impact? Did you get him? Maybe she shot him with an arrow of gravity. I guess I was just hearing things. No, 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 you were also seeing things. You definitely saw a, um, a deer just leap into the air. I don't know, I'm, I'm with you on this. I will defend you on this one. If anyone asks, I saw the giant leaping... I keep on wanting to say moose. The giant leaping deer, too. Huh, maybe I don't need a boat to get to, um to this location. 
Because it's right there. It's right across the water. It's funny, because there is... <laughs> there's the five feet between the main island and then this dock. Oh, try to get into the boat. All right. Okay, yeah, it's not usable. Just wanted to see. Just wanted to check. I'm going to take your wine. You don't need it, whoever you are. I was about to say, are we going to fight another dragon? Anger Skull. Discovered. Thurmurnia. Decent job with the dragon names, honestly. Like, they fit the general dragon naming conventions, or at least... They seem to, because I am by no means fluent in, uh, in Dovazul. So don't ask me if, uh, you know, every single dragon from every single mod actually has three words of power making up their name. Because I don't know. <laughs> I just shouted him into the burning dragon body. Fair that they were trying to shout me down in retaliation. Only fair. Still all death wounds, huh? Nothing but death wounds. Almost. I will say, three death lords is not bad. Anger, the defiler. <laughs> Don't know if anyone here ever, ever played Destiny 1, but... Immediately, I'm just going back to Destiny 1 Prison of Elders. It's Psylocke, the Defiled. And I would love if I could just get an announcer to announce my enemies for me in Skyrim. That would be great. It'd be really, really, really good. Alright, here's... The next tablet. Wal Enis Na Trem. Yeah, I just, I still wonder, is that supposed to be the indicator of where I'm supposed to go next? Am I supposed to know what it's saying? Is it supposed to be telling me where to go? I guess I better brush up on my, uh, Dovazul, huh? Gotta break out the Dovazul translation device. Wouldn't be the first time I've done it for a mod either, honestly. Oh god, okay. So, I'm... I'm here. The quest is all the way... over there. Yeah, I'm gonna travel to, uh, Still Rock Mine and go from there. <laughs> Damn. What do we have here? Falvern Dovul Bar. I think I mentioned it earlier. I like the location names. That is one thing that I think was well done. And that can be tricky. I'm someone who really suck at naming things, so... Anytime a mod does that well, I'm pretty happy myself. I'm not sure if there is going to be a boat over there, but if there is, I feel like it's maybe going to be around here. Whatever this sort of, uh, shrine-looking thing is... It looks like it could have either a dock or some sort of, um... land bridge, potentially. Also, the thing that keeps on throwing me off with the world space is... I don't know if it's just me or the fact that I can't zoom out more, but... in my mind... the scale of the world space... is much larger than it is. Because I was just down here thinking, oh, let me go up to this spire, this ruin, thinking that was going to be a good, like, three, four minute walk. Just, like, 20 seconds, maybe? At most? So I think I'm just constantly kind of deceiving myself, thinking that the world space is much larger than it is. Oh. Ignore me. Only the true pilgrim shall be allowed to enter. Ooh, there we go. I was going to say another side quest, right? Find the first pillar puzzle. Okay, but once again, 
Once again, I, I feel like it's one thing to have all of these be note quests. It's another thing to not really give me any clue in regards to, like, how to solve these quests, but just telling me, oh, you're gonna go here. But how do I know to go here? Like, as a character in this universe, how do I suddenly know I have to go to the first pillar? I don't even know what the pillar is. So that's just a minor pet peeve right now. Also, I realize that I have the weird, like, green artifacting stuff in the water. Um, let me just save and restart, because I do have a mod that's supposed to clear that up, but sometimes I just need to very quickly reinstall that to get it to actually work properly. No, still not working, huh? I don't know if it's maybe because it's a separate landscape or something, but... Huh. I know the green water thing is just something that comes up in Skyrim, though. Like, it happens without mods. It's just a weird special edition thing that can happen. And it's a thing that I've solved many times, but I always forget the different methods to solve it, because the last time I fixed it was probably a year ago, minus, um, just using the mod that's supposed to replace or fix the, um, uh, the green water bug. Mer Nulamir. Yeah, once again, digging the dragon names. Oh, god. Oh, he, uh, he needed a bath. He very quickly took a bath. If anything, that's an insult to me. He's so unthreatened by me that he was willing to just take a quick little dip, a quick little swim, after I started fighting him. That's how insignificant I am to him. Honestly, it's the ultimate flex. It's the ultimate power play. So, I'm gonna take a note from his, uh, from his little playbook, and I'm gonna do that from now on. Anytime I want an enemy to feel so underwhelmed, or so overwhelmed, and so intimidated by me, I will take a bath as I fight them. Ooh, the Knights of Vulder. I'm liking it, we're getting some, uh, new names for enemies. Oh god. I mean, they're no tankier than your average. Draugr Deathlord, but when it's the only enemy you're fighting, I find it gets a little tedious. But that's a very common thing in a lot of mods that I've played over the years. Is it gets to a point where, hey, every enemy is going to be a Draugr Deathlord, or every Draugr, rather, is going to be a Draugr Deathlord. It's like, okay, well, let's, let's maybe go back to the drawing board and reevaluate how we're doing this. Wait, who is he fighting? Oh, okay. I thought he was fighting someone else back here. Probably taking another swim. Like the cocky bastard he was. That's what I think of your bath time, sir. Now, there was no dragon priest here. Interestingly enough. Let me search the, uh, the Knights of Vulder real quick to see if they have anything of interest on them. Okay, no. Just wanted to see. Just curious. Also, it's a minor thing, but it occurred to me that the reason that they're placing bedrolls and fires on these islands is because there is, um compatibility for Anniversary Edition, which means that some people may play this with survival installed. So having the bedroll provided, that's actually a really nice touch. Ba al no inuk. Obviously, Northwind Bane, yeah. I was thinking the exact same thing. I had a feeling I was going to have to go all the way across the world space. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh, all right. But the good news is we can take 
a boat. So once again, it's not like I have to swim a ridiculous distance or anything. Because where, oh where, is Wakecrest? Oh, wait. Well, that's what I get for following the marker. Wait, where does it want me to go now? It wants me to go east. Is there another port somewhere? Um, <laughs> um I don't know. I really don't. Oh, okay, here we go. This will take me to the lighthouse, which is here. So if nothing else that's closer, maybe I could then take something from the lighthouse to to Alnorn and from Alnorn to Northwind Bane. But this is where, say, um, like the ferryman would be good. Like the ferryman from the base game. It's like, oh, where do you want to go? And it just lists out like the lighthouse, uh, the different settlements, yada yada. Only having like one boat go to each area. Yeah, just one boat per zone. I don't necessarily think works too too well. Who are you? Warning you. Back off. Oh, a warlock assassin, you say? Now ain't this a surprise? Ooh. Well, sir, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna check you for you guessed it. Literature. Oh <gasps> yes. Oh, I'm getting good at this. It has come to our attention that the lighthouse caretaker, Baranoff has found something that he does not, or that he is not supposed to. Head there and dispose of this caretaker before he has time to inform the guard captain at the village. Its secrecy is of importance and must be kept that way, at all cost. Well, 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 Zanera. I am nosy. Wait, did that not give me a quest? I mean, I still want to find out what it is. I have a feeling he's already dead, so maybe I'm not actually going to get a resolution to this. Yeah, I think he may have been murdered already, although I haven't checked his house yet. But, okay, so once again, just going back to the boat thing real fast, because there's two different boats. There's one that goes to Whiteshore... One that goes to Wakecrest. Neither goes to this the village right there. Like, come on. <laughs> I realize at this point I just this sound like the biggest bitch about the mod, but there's a lot of things right now where it just defies a lot of logic for me at least. George overly critical and kind of a bitch? No, never. You guys would never say that, right? No. No, 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 no. Aw, he's gone! Where is he? Well, he's gotta be gone because uh, I can actually sleep in his bed. It's no longer owned. Because I didn't get anything to pop up about the lighthouse keeper, did I? I don't think so. No, I didn't. I'm gonna check the warlock again. If I remember where I killed him. Which, it's me, so I don't. Because it's been more than two seconds. No. Oh, wait. There he is. <laughs> oh, he was literally just two more feet that way. Lighthouse key, huh? I didn't see any doors. Maybe there's like a trap door? Or I missed something on the side, maybe? Because the only location here is Burnoff's hut, which wasn't locked. And it did specify specifically lighthouse key. So no trap door. And I see no chest. Because this isn't related to one of the other quests I have, is it? I don't believe so. 
Hmm. Uh, note to self. Lighthouse. Artifact. Weird secret. Come back to this later. 